How's it going all? You're watching Through A Plays and my name is Patrick and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you a tour of my camp. I have built a haunted house and since it's getting closer to Halloween I figured why not go ahead and make a video of it. So I'm going to start the tour by kind of showing you the front of the house. Nothing special, nothing major. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice is the big sign that says subscribe to Three Way Plays on YouTube. If you're, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We do appreciate the support. But this sign is to help get the attention of anybody that might come to my camp because they want to look and see what's in the vendor. Over here on this side, it's nothing special. I didn't really have much to do with this area. So I went ahead and just made... <laughs> And I, apparently I've got somebody trying to attack me. Uh, but I went ahead and just kind of made like a little display case. Nothing special. I, I was bored. I didn't know what else to put there. So if we start our little tour, we're going to go up while I have a couple of visitors to my camp. We're going to go ahead and go up these stairs. The first thing that you'll be greeted by is these wraith scarecrows. I love them. I think I got them out of the atomic shop, but they're pretty cool. Once you get up here, you'll notice that I've got a little bit of decorations, and you'll see that the vault boy is pointing through a hay walkway or a straw walkway, whatever you want to call it, and I've got fog that's leading into it to make it even more mysterious. We're going to save that one for later. But as we go up here to the top, you'll see to the right that I've got my candy bowl out. I got my Mr. Fuzzy sitting there waiting for trick-or-treaters to come by so he can give out some candy. Over here I've got some coffins, just some decorations, nothing major. And I've got some skeletons and some bats hanging. Pumpkins are on the rail, of course. Gotta have the jack o -lanterns. A wheelchair, because why not? <laughs> I might need it later on. <laughs> More things hanging, not so problem. You'll see a lot of stuff around the camp, a lot of decorations. I got my pumpkin walkway. I'll go ahead and do this one first. I'll go this way first, I mean. There's nothing really back here. It's just going to be my workshops and stuff that I've got. Generator. Electron. I just wanted to add pumpkins. It kind of makes it look nicer, neater. Really adds spice to the uh, environment. If I go over here to the side, I've got my cornfield. Nothing special. Got a little hidden well in here. I don't know if I'd drink out of it. <laughs> And then, obviously, I've got in the back another Wraith square, Scarecrow. This is my Mothman Church. Once you come in here, just got a few things on the wall, stuff that might work with the cultists. The idea of the Mothman cult. Up front, I have the leader of the cult getting ready to give his sermon. Behind him, the statue of the Mothman. That when provoked, will appear. Sorry. And who do we have in attendance today during the service? But a bunch of Mr. Fuzzies. You'll see a common theme among this camp, and it's gonna be those little guys right there, the little Mr. Fuzzies. Just keep an eye for them. Keep an eye out for them, sorry. <laughs> So as we come back around here to the back, you'll notice that we have a Mothman on the wall and a little bench. This way you can actually sit down and commune with the Mothman if you feel so inclined. Ah. Whatever. <laughs> Let's continue on. So I'm going to come back out the Mothman and I'm going to go... Apparently we've got a couple people that are looking to be trick-or-treaters. Huh? Let me go ahead and give him a good old. Inside my house, I have several display cases filled with just things that I think that would be kind of creepy. Got my Wendigo heads over here in the corner. All things that I could find creepy. Still ringing the doorbell, apparently. <laughs> I got my tubes, the Super Mutant and the Wendigo in there. An organ in between, in case you just want to play something, I guess. Scorched heads and jars. 
An electric chair. You also notice that I've got a bunch of strobe lights. I don't really have a whole lot of lights throughout my camp. I feel like the strobe lights kind of give it a more of a haunted feeling, and I kind of like that. Just stuff pretty much that I feel like is kind of scary or a little eerie. I have Dean Jacobs. He's murdered 156 so far. That's the also the, the number of our subscribers. Doesn't mean you got it. Dean Jacobs needs a higher body count. So do subscribe. Over here on the other side, just got a little bit of a living room with a coffin as a coffee table. I've got busts sitting up on top of the cabinets and each busts have their own respected vase, their ashes, their urns, whatever you want to call them, to represent those that have died in this place. And then a TV that's on static because it's creepy. Some more stuff in display cases. Super Mutant parts. And then you'll notice go ahead and throw some love his way since he liked my camp. And then just some other little treats on the wall. A barbed baseball bat, a boomstick, rocket launcher. I think there was a rocket launcher in Resident Evil, right? So we're good there. So we're gonna go upstairs. I have built a maze up here. I'm not gonna go crazy in here, but I'm just gonna kind of give you an idea. I do have a lot, as much as I can put in here of twists and turns. If you do find it at end, you'll be greeted with a Wendigo. If you're able to navigate through here, which maybe I'm not able to, <laughs> I'll give you a secret. Follow the pumpkins. They will lead you to the path. Right there. If you do make it through and you solve the maze, up here, upstairs, is the children's room. I've got toys in display. I've got toys on the carpet, toy box there, some a bookshelf, dresser. But I have a creepy clown that is just standing over the bed while the child sleeps. Maybe if the child wakes up and sees the clown. Something creepy, something scary. I don't know. Behind here, I have a closet. There are no monsters in your closet. Apparently somebody's already been in here. The door's already open. <laughs> so we're going to enter into the closet. So when you enter into the closet... It is a place of nightmares. You got clowns, you've got heads on the walls, even with the words of your hell written in the front of it. Over here on the side, you have the Scorch Beast Queen. She has just eaten her last sacrifice. Who will be next? Whoever falls asleep will probably be the next one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really know how to be freaky. Anyway, so we're going to go upstairs, and you can see the tapestries hanging, which are just curtains, but whatever. I think they look pretty cool. We have a ritual going on. The leader, the one that's hosting this, is up front Why he's got his four other companions all in ceremonial garb, which is nothing more than a witch's outfit and the uh, cultist uh, mask. <laughs> but, um, they are summoning Mr. Fuzzy. Disturbing. I know. There's something wrong with me. I've got floating wraiths. Floating candles as they go up the stairs. But back here, as you walk in, is the room of fire. Coffins everywhere. Because you got to need more coffins than just one. I have flame and smoke underneath of the floor to show that it is a room of fire. Surrounded by death is a bed of nails. If you ever feel tempted to just lie down in a room such as this. Ah, oh, what a nightmare. 
Oh, oh, there's something creepy standing at the edge of my bed. <laughs> After you wake up and you feel safe, go ahead and tap good old Mr. Fuzzy on the head. <laughs> Instead of having to go back down through the maze, I've added a convenient shortcut. You're greeted by a Snellagaster, of course, because they think they're ugly. But come in here, fall down through the floor, and you are at the beginning of the maze. That way you don't have to try to fight in your way all the way back out. Sounds like Dean Jacobs is humming again. Probably just got done murdering somebody. Last but not least, that little path that I said that we're going to get back to. Probably be disappointed in this one. <laughs> My little hay uh, path. Whatever you want to call it. Walkway. It's something I kind of wanted to build. If you ever have done like those cornfield mazes or corn mazes or hay mazes or anything like that. Or the, uh, you know, the hay rides. Stuff like that. That's kind of what I wanted to do. So I've got my wraith that's sitting out here as well. Work your way around. You'll see other scarecrows. If you can make your way through. And if you make it to the end, you're greeted with the final scarecrow that says, Boo! Bah! <laughs> but there's a secret here. If you pass it and don't see it, you'll never know it. But you'll see this wall. But it's not a wall. It's actually a hidden door. And by opening it, you'll see that this is where, underneath the house, the bodies are stored. You have meat piles so something nasty has gone on down here a well so that way they can dispose of excess parts and that's the shovel they use to dig with let's go see what's in the well shall we Mr. Fuzzy's surrounding you. What is going on in this room? What is going on beneath the well? The demon god, Mr. Fuzzy, has been summoned. The ritual worked and has brought forth Mr. Fuzzy himself. The entire room is surrounded by Mr. Fuzzies as they watch their god being born into this world. Give you a better kind of an idea of the way it looks. So with that ends our tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite part about this camp was. Also let me know if there's something else that you'd like to see me make. If there's another camp idea that you want me to try to delve into I'd be happy to. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said earlier it does help us out. And if you happen to see me on come over to my camp. Enjoy it. Have fun in it. Explore it. Find all the secrets that there are to find. But I want to say thank you for watching and take care.